So when setting up for a chip, it's really important to make sure you've got a narrower stance. You're still aiming at the target of the club, but your feet might be a little bit open. Open meaning that you're aiming slightly left of the target, which will allow your hips and body to turn through the shot much easier. It's very important to have a stance that's narrower than standard. Setting up for a driver, shoulder width apart, setting up for a chip, a little bit narrower, a little bit more open. When hitting a chip shot, it's really important to make sure that you've got your club face at the angle that you wanted to for the shot. If you deal off the club or you open the club or you point the club to the right or the left, it can really determine where the ball is going to go. So it's very important that we keep the angle of the face to stay the same throughout the whole swing. We've got to make sure that we maintain the loft of the club throughout the whole swing. Any slight movement of your hands will put the ball in the wrong direction and create a shot that you don't want to play. It's very important when hitting a chip shot that you actually rotate your hips all the way through and face the target. Having your hips stay side on makes it very hard for you to get good contact with the ball. More than likely it's going to shank the ball out to the right. So having good body rotation, a slight little pivot to face the target is ideal for a chip shot. The one thing you don't want to do with chipping is have a dominant right hand. You see a lot of golfers that hit a chip shot and their right hand is dominating their left hand when hitting the golf shot. What I mean by dominating, when you set up with a golf club, your hands are neutral. When someone's dominating with their right hand, the right hand is covering the left hand, which turns the club face over, de-lofting the club and pointing the club out to the left. 